comes the position vibration sense position vibration vibration sense the fiber enters spinal cord without relay position and vibration sense vibration position and vibration sense without relay without relay they travel upward please note pain touch temperature they relayed here but they don't relay straight away they travel upward by which column posterior column they travel in the posterior column this is the posterior column so this is the first order neuron they travel upward they enter the brain and in the brain they relay and second order neuron they go to other side second order neuron they go to other side and they also go and relay in the thalamus this is the second order neuron point to be noted again they are relaying in the thalamus and what i told you thalamus is a relay station now you know the meaning and the third order neuron they will go to the contralateral parietal lobe ultimately all sensation they go to contralateral parietal lobe all of you write down position vibration sense they enter spinal cord without relay they travel upward via posterior column this is the question this is the question posterior column contain position vibration sense latest question second order neuron they go to other side they relay thalamus thalamus the relay station we discuss and ultimately parietal lobe point to be noted now this part of the second order neuron this part of second order this part the whole second order neuron this contain of course this is right sided this is known as medial lamniscus na, na, name is changed medial lamniscus lamniscus this is the medial lamniscus remember it is simply the continuation second order neuron going toward the thalamus and this is the medial lamniscus and this is right side again this is right side it now the come the question right medial lamniscus contain which fiber left sided position vibration sense so box number 2 box number 2 left right medial lamniscus lamniscus contain which fiber left sided position and vibration sense vibration sense this is the box number 2 this is the box number 2 this what you have to remember ultimately this is what he going to ask you question from this only so we got box number 1 and we got box number 2 point noted right spinal lamniscus contain left sided pain tight temperature right medial lamniscus contain left sided position vibration sense please note it down okay. and make the boxes all of you i request you to make the boxes and do the numbering the way i am doing remember the whole thing we have to revise in less than 3 minutes take your time don't be in a hurry fine so so all of you repeat behind me right sided spinal lamus lamus can contain which fiber i am getting less voice i want everybody should speak out you are fresh with lunch you are having a lot of calories now speak out again 
right spiral lemmaskins contain which fiber left side eight yeah better similarly right medial lemmaskins contain which fiber left side eight perfect perfect now let's go further look at the board once again all fiber pain tight temperature position vibration all have come to contralateral thalamus and ultimately all have gone to contralateral parietal lobe i repeat again all sensation pain tight temperature position vibration of left sided they have gone to ultimately relay station of the right side right thalamus that we thalamus contain all contralateral sensory sensation now look at the board very carefully so this is the right sided thalamus which contain all left sided sensation now suppose there is a hemorrhage suppose there is a hemorrhage into this thalamus hemorrhage is occurring at what part hemorrhage is occurring in the right thalamus right thalamus okay right thalamus is the station where all sensation are coming and hemorrhage is occurring there that means the person will lose all the sensation of which side left side so in right thalamic bleed the person will lose all sensation on the left side look at the board what is going to happen this is a gentleman who has got bleeding in the right thalamus so what is going to happen yeah so this is right side left side and he has a thalamic bleed in the right side so he will lose sensation all sensation in the left side whole body sensation on left side will disappear so he will have a complete hemi anesthesia on the left side in the right thalamic bleed complete hemi anesthesia on the left side now look at the board once again now this bleeding is there bleeding is there in the thalamus focus karenge isko yahan pe focus karenge yeah so ultimately the body will the body by by macrophages body will remove all this blood the body will remove all this blood by the action of macrophages in that way thalamus will have will start working again that means this thalamus will start working again but in the beginning stage of the recovery this gentleman who has a complete hemi anesthesia on the left side he will have a intense burning sensation in the whole left side and this is known as deserin rausi syndrome so deserin i will write don't worry i'll write down so in deserin rausi syndrome this happen in the recovery phase of thalamic bleed and the person has got intense burning in the contralateral body write down the third box so now we come to third box third box De deserin deserin rausi syndrome rausi syndrome this occur in the thalamic bleed recovery phase of thalamic bleed this is the box number 3 this is the box number 3 so deserin rausi syndrome rou it occurs in the recovery phase of thalamic bleed thalamus or thalamic bleed this was the latest question 
latest question was Dethrin Rauji syndrome occurs in the recovery phase of thalamic pre. This is the latest question. So, it's clear to use. 